the Holy Ghost yes, sir. shall teach you all things. Yes. How to do business. Yes. How to run a company. I receive. How to run. Pro- oh, I receive. God, I wish I was talking to somebody here. The blessing of the Lord will rest upon you. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. We are still in the month of blessing and glory. Blessing and blessing and glory. Blessing and glory. Now, I was teaching on Tuesday that when people hear that is a month of blessing and glory, they're thinking, wow, the blessing is just going to come. All right? But no, when the prophet announces it's a month of blessing and glory, in other words, he is saying it is a month to wage a war. It is a month to wage a battle. Where a blessing must appear and a curse must disappear. Where the glory must appear and a shame must disappear. So it's not just a month of just shouting, I receive a blessing. It is also a month of saying every curse around my life. Your expiry season has come. Your expiry time has come. It's not just a matter of saying I receive a blessing. It is also a matter of standing on the war zone and they begin to decree and declare that every curse pronounced against your life it is time it is broken so it is not just a month of relaxing it is a month of war you see many people have learned how to receive but they have not learned how to wage war in the spirit for a blessing to come to you i will tell you something it is a war. It is. It, it, it is a war. For you to manifest a blessing, it is a war. So it's not just a matter of saying, oh man of God, I receive. No. It is a war. It's a battle. It's a battle. You, you don't know that two brothers in the Bible, they wanted to kill each other because of a blessing. Esau and Jacob. They wanted to kill each other because of a blessing. Not actually material blessing. No. Not a what? Not a material blessing. Tell you, they never inherited material blessings. You will never hear that they inherited. You will never hear that Isaac inherited material blessing. He inherited a blessing. And he worked on his own. And the Bible says he worked great. So what, what what they were fighting for was not material blessing. No. They wanted to kill each other because of the blessing. When Isaac, uh, when Esau took all the blessings, all right? Uh, when Jacob took all the blessings, when Esau came and the father said, Oh, I've released all the blessings to your brother. All right, hear what is saying. He said, Is there even anything that you can speak over me? A blessing that you can speak over me. You see, when the prophet announces the month of a blessing, and you you're just sitting down, you're just smiling, like there is nothing. I'm just looking at you. Esau cried before his father to say, I know you have released everything. Is there nothing that is remaining that you can speak over me is that you know Isaac was rich everything he had Esau never asked to say okay give me kettles give me cows or give me gold give me silver no all Esau wanted was the laying of hand and the pronouncement of a blessing he said is there no blessing that is remaining. The father said I've released everything. And the Esau made a vow to say as long as I live, Jacob will die. And Jacob will reign for his life. Did you hear that? And you, the prophet says a blessing. I have told you again and again. When you see me with the prophet, you will never hear me say, prophet, prophesy to me. 
prophet do this i only ask one thing my father bless me simple you will never hear me writing a lot of things to the prophet no i will say my father bless me because i know the power of a blessing two brothers wanted to kill each other for a blessing do you know that somebody could have lost his leg in the bible because he was asking for a blessing he found an angel he said i'm not going to let you go until you bless me i'm not going to let you go until until you bless me what is in the blessing that somebody could have sacrificed his leg what is it that is in the blessing i will show you right now what is it in the blessing that Esau could make a vow that I will kill my brother because he has stolen my blessings? What is it that is in the blessing? What is it that somebody can fight with an angel the whole night? He says, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Somebody who already stole blessings and he's still asking for a blessing. What is it that is in the blessing that the church is missing today? What is about the blessing of the Lord? What is it all about? The blessing of the Lord. That people could kill each other. That somebody could sacrifice his life to receive this blessing. What is in the blessing? He fought with the angel the whole night up until it was getting dawn. Then the angel said, Hey, my assignment was for the night. Now I have to go back. He says, I'm not going to leave you. Let you go until you bless me. Then the angel asked one thing. Uh, you know, in my thinking, you would think maybe the angel would cause 8M to appear to say, Now you can uh, withdraw any amount of money that you want. Now you're blessed. <laughs> in your thinking, you might think like that. All right? But here, what the angel said, the angel asked, what is your name? What is? Then Jacob says, my name is Jacob. In the pronunciation of the blessing, the angel says, from today, you are no longer Jacob. From today, you are Israel. And that moment, that moment, something changed. Jacob let him go. And he says, now I am a blessed person. Now I am. Do you, do you know that it is from this time that he went to meet his brother? The same brother who wanted to kill him, when his name changed from Jacob to Israel, the same brother welcomed him. Oh, I'm talking to somebody here. Somebody who made a vow to say, I will kill this person. When his name was changed from Jacob to Israel, the blessed name. <laughs> the enemy became the best friend. It's, the Bible says Esau welcomed him. Actually, they went and hacked. Esau forgot that he was supposed to kill Jacob. I, I want to talk to somebody here. When the blessing of the Lord has come upon you. Oh, yes. Ah, are you listening or something happened? When the blessing of the Lord has come upon you. Oh, yes. What the enemy planned against you. Oh, yes. It turns around. It begins to I work receive, in your favor. I receive. Now I understand why. Israel is undefeated up until now. They are a nation born of a blessing. They are a nation born of a blessing. I'm telling you. May I pray for somebody here today? The blessing of the Lord will rest upon you. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. May I pray for somebody at the back there? Oh, yes. Somebody in front here? Oh, yes. The blessing of the Lord is resting upon you. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. That's a question I want you to answer. Why would people fight for a blessing? 
Why would they fight for a blessing? Why would they fight? What is in the blessing that people can fight? Brothers would want to kill each other. What is it? It's, it's really important to understand that. Now, I will tell you one statement here, then we're going to go in the scripture. There is a direct union between the destiny of man and the blessing of the Lord. There is a direct union. There is a direct relationship between the destiny, actually I should say the fulfillment of the destiny of man and the blessing of the Lord. There is a direct union. That is why before Adam achieved his destiny, God had to bless him. No, God had to bless him. Abraham, God had to bless him because there is a direct connection between the fulfillment of destiny and the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord ensures that you are alive to fulfill the destiny of God. When you carry the blessing of God, you cannot die premature. When you carry the blessing of God, you cannot die premature. Because the blessing of God ensures that you live to demonstrate that blessing on earth. So in order for one to fulfill their destiny, there must be the blessing of the Lord upon your life. So understanding this, why were they fighting for the blessing? Because in order for man to fulfill his destiny on earth, there must be a release, a pronunciation of a blessing upon you. In order to be relevant in life, you must have the blessing of the Lord. In order to be relevant, you have to have the blessing of the Lord. Why the blessing? Last week we read from Proverbs chapter 10. Verse 22. Let's just go there quickly. Proverbs 10, 22. And everybody online, you are welcome once again to this amazing service. Amen. Proverbs 10. Quickly. Proverbs 10, verse 22. Uh -huh. In NLT, it says, the, bless, the blessing of the Lord maketh a person rich, and he added no sorrow with it. Read again. The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich. And he ate no sorrow with it. The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich. The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich. Say it with me. The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich. Did you hear that? Now, many people confuse. They think riches are a blessing. But that's not what the Bible is saying. The Bible says it is the blessing that makes a person rich. That means riches are a byproduct of the blessing of the Lord over your life. Do you hear that? Riches are a product of the works of the blessing of the Lord over your life. So people would see, oh, riches, they'll think, oh, this is a blessing. What you are seeing is the product of the blessing. What you are seeing is the effects of a blessing. The byproduct of the blessing. So riches is not the blessing. Riches are a result of being blessed. Riches are a result of being blessed. So let's read again so that you can understand. The Bible says the blessing of the Lord makes. It makes a person to be rich. It makes a person to be rich. 
So when you receive the blessing of the Lord, the blessing of the Lord begins to process you. Begins to manufacture you. It begins to reconstruct you. When you receive the blessing of the Lord, there is a reconstruction. There is a remanufacturing of you. When you receive the blessing of the Lord, you go through a process. You go through a process. So the blessing of the Lord is the process that brings in the force divine force to change your life. Oh, am I talking to somebody here? So when you hear that the blessing of the Lord maketh, that means the blessing of the Lord is responsible for processing products in the kingdom of God. So you want to be rich, you need to have a blessing upon you. The blessing will make you the blessing will make you. So the blessing of the Lord is responsible for processing the life and destiny of man. The blessing of the Lord is responsible for reconstruction of the destiny of man. People might have said, oh, you, you will not achieve anything in life. Wow, that's what they have seen in your family. That's what they have seen around you. But when the blessing of the Lord comes upon you, it begins to reconstruct your life. It begins to remake your destiny. I wish I had two people or three people listening here. So the blessing maketh. It is like the machine that makes rich people. It's a machine that makes divine health. That is why the Bible says the blessing of the Lord makes a person to be rich. That means when the blessing of the Lord is upon you, it is impossible for you to be poor because it is the blessing that makes you rich. The blessing maketh. That is one thing you have to notice about the blessing. Tell your neighbor, the blessing can make you. The blessing can make you. Tell them again, the blessing can make you. The blessing can make you. What are they saying? <laughs> are they receiving? The blessing can make you. As I said last week, there are some of you, you stopped dreaming. You stopped envisioning a great life. You stopped thinking that God can bless you. You stopped thinking that you can move from one level to another. From one realm to another realm. You stopped thinking about that. You stopped dreaming about that. You stopped praying about that. But because, you know, sometimes we have to be true and honest all right the fact is you don't have a degree if you don't have it that is a fact no matter how much you can pray you don't have it the fact is you don't have any paper to qualify you for what you are praying for it will take people with degrees to build a house you believe in God. It will take people who are working on certain positions in certain organizations to drive the car that you are believing God for. So it is a fact. You didn't go to school, you didn't go to school. It is a fact. There is no prayer that can undo that. I'm telling you, there is no prayer that can undo that. Unless you want to go back now to school. But you didn't go to school. You didn't go to school. You don't have a degree. You don't have a degree. It is a fact. You will not pray. And the degree appear in your room. I don't know if you are listening to what I'm telling you. You understand? That is a fact. On the ground. But that is not the whole truth. It is just... A fact it's just a fact you don't have the degree but it doesn't mean you can't have what the people of degrees are having 
Oh, I'm talking to somebody here. It is a fact you don't have the degree. But the truth is, you can do everything and anything through Christ who oh. strengthens you. Oh, yes. So what a degree person is doing, yes, sir. you can do it much better oh, yes. because of the anointing that is in you. Yes, sir. I wish somebody was listening to you me. You are communicating. It is a sir. fact. You didn't go to school. Yes. It is a fact you don't have the connection. Yes, sir. It is a fact you don't have the qualifications that are needed. Yes, sir. But I've come to tell you. Oh, yes. There is a greater truth. Oh, yes. You can do anything. I receive. Through the anointing that is at I work receive. in you. The Bible says the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Shall teach you all things. Yes. How to do business. Yes. How to run a company. I receive. How to run. Pro oh, I receive. God, I wish I was talking to somebody here. Say, I'll do it by the blessing of God. I'll do it by the blessing of God. When God blesses you, yes, sir. Forget about your degree. When God blesses you, forget about your background. When the Lord blesses you, brother, forget about the connections oh, that you don't yes. have. The blessing will make you. Yes, sir. We the hear you. The blessing will make you. You become a product of a blessing. You become a product of a one. You become a product of a blessing. Man of God, I don't know. You stopped dreaming long time ago. I was teaching, I think it was on Tuesday, to say some of you, if we can open your head and begin to, to, to see your thoughts, you will feel sorry for yourself. You stopped dreaming great dreams because you think you cannot do it. If we can check your thoughts now, all you are thinking is a taxi fare. Two bedroom house. From Mabupane station to Goshen. That's, that's what you are thinking. That's what you are made of. That's what you are. If we can, if we can dissect your thoughts now, you will be shocked. You, you, you stopped thinking. Oh, there are chicken feet in there. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen. It's because maybe that's the life that, that, that you have grown up with. You don't believe that nobody, anybody in your family can ever make it. To be great. To be admired. So you don't think that one day you can drive your own car. You don't think that one day you can build your own house. You don't think actually where you are, there, there is nowhere in your thoughts by accident that you have got a passport thinking you have got th thinking of a passport that one day you can travel outside South Africa you don't think about it but by, I'm saying by accident not normal by accident that you just think about it by accident you've never you've never do you know why because you think that's the life that is intended for you because when you look at what qualifies others and you look at your life, you say, I don't have what qualifies me. You're saying, I don't have what qualifies me to travel abroad. I don't have what qualifies me to live this kind of life. <laughs> but when the blessing of the Lord comes upon you, it doesn't matter what qualifies you or what does not qualify you. Oh, yes. When the blessing comes upon you. Yes, sir. You are qualified. I receive. Oh, I'm talking to somebody here. Oh, yes. The blessing makes a person rich. So now, when, when, when the blessing comes upon you and we open your mouth, we, we, we open your brain like this. We, we want to see air tickets. Huh? We want to see double story houses. We want to see projects, businesses in your mind, in your mind. But right now, all you're thinking is taxi fare. There, there is no corner in your brain where there is a car waiting for you. May that story change. You hear me? My first point I want to make this morning is that the blessing can make you stop disqualifying yourself the blessing can make you 
You were not born again to suffer again. You are not born again to be poor again. You are not born again to be a nobody again. You are born again to shine again. You are born again to rise again. Oh yes. You are born again to show forth the glory of the Lord. Oh yes. Shall I receive the blessing of I the Lord? I receive the blessing of the Lord. Can I tell you something this morning? Yes, sir. You will not die poor. I receive. Oh, God, I'm talking to somebody. I receive. Can I tell you something this morning? Oh, yes. You will not die a nobody. I receive. It doesn't matter what your family say. Oh, yes. It doesn't matter what your relatives say. Oh, yes. But I see a great man. I receive. And I see a great woman. I receive. By the blessing of the Lord. I receive. In the name of Jesus I Christ. I receive. Some of you, 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 you counted yourself out. You think you will never get blessed, but I am here to announce. Oh, yes. I decree and I declare. I receive. I announce in the realms of the spirit. I receive. Your time and your season. Oh, yes. To rise and to shine. Oh, yes. It has come now in the name of I Jesus. I receive. Oh. The blessing maketh. Don't fight a person with a blessing. Don't fight a person who is a product of a blessing. You will run out of all your resources fighting that person. <laughs> I'm telling you. You will run out of all your resources fighting that person. But that person, his resource is a blessing. You can take away everything from that person. Give him two weeks. Give him one month. Give him two months. Hey, hey, hey. I decree and an announce. Oh, yes. Whatever that was taken from you. Yes, sir. Whatever that was stolen from you. Yes, sir. It is coming back double. I receive. By the blessing of the Lord. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Never fight a person whose riches are, a, if, are the effects of a blessing. Whose rising is because of a blessing. You are fighting a wrong battle. You are fighting a wrong battle. If they rose by themselves, you're going to bring them down. But if they rose by the blessing of God, they can never be defeated. That is why the Bible says, when men shall say there is a casting down, you, the blessed one, you shall say there is a lifting. There is a lifting up. When you fight a person, who is a product of a blessing, you are fighting a power that you cannot defeat. You are fighting a force you cannot defeat. May I announce to you now, Yes, sir. Whosoever shall fight you, Oh, yes. Shall fight the blessing of the Lord. I receive. Th th then you hear what the Bible says. I shall bless whosoever shall bless you. And I shall curse whosoever shall curse you. I'm looking at somebody there. And yes, then, sir. Those who cast you. Oh, yes. Those who cast you. Oh, yes. La prosatia lacto I receive. Do you know there are people who are standing somewhere wanting to cast you? It is not you to cast them. God says, Me, I shall cast those who want to cast you. Why? We are the products of the blessing of the Lord. We have been into the process of the blessing. We have been manufactured in the blessing. We have been reconstructed in the blessing. So when we are coming out, we don't just come out like that. Oh yes. We know who we are. Oh yes. We know where we are going. Oh yes. Unstoppable. Yes sir. Unsqueezable. Yes sir. Unshakeable. Yes sir. Undefeatable. Yes sir. That is who we are. We are products of the blessing. When you see us shining, we shine by the blessing of the oh, Lord. Oh, yes. When you see us rising, yes. we rise by the blessing of the yes, Lord. Yes, sir. When you see us moving forward, yes, sir. we move forward oh, by yes. the blessing of the Lord. Oh, yes. When you see us testifying, yes. we are testifying by the, the blessing, blessing of God. God. You are communicating. We are products. We are products of the blessing. Gather your resources. Gather your angels, your cohorts. Speak against the blessed one and see the hand of the almighty God. I am telling you, 
That is why David says, you dig a pit for me, you shall fall there. Because I am the blessed of the Lord. The we blessing maketh. Oh yes. I don't know what you want the blessing to make you. But before December. Oh yes. You are sleeping too much. I don't know what you want the blessing to make you oh yes but once you go through the process of the blessing yes sir you are coming out a different person i receive you are coming out a different person i receive in the name of jesus i receive lift up your hands lift up your hands everybody lift up your hands <laughs> people at the back there are you listening are you hearing people at the back people in front here drop your hands drop your hands <laughs> i want to declare something to you yes sir all right when the blessing comes upon you sir when the blessing comes upon you people who ran away from you they shall come back to you i'm telling you look at yourself say i can't die poor can look at you says me where how suffering begging no say i'm the blessed of the law yes sir we hear no, you. No, no, no. Lift up your hands. As you lift up your hands. Oh, yes. I announce to you. Oh, yes. On this altar. Yes, sir. I announce to you. Oh, yes. Multiplication of the blessing of the Lord. I receive. May you become a byproduct of the voice, the blessing of the Lord. I receive. I receive. In Jesus' name. I receive. Now, as you lift up your hands. What you could not do. Oh, yes. You shall do it by the blessing of I Lord. receive. What you could not achieve. Oh, yes. You shall achieve by the blessing I of I receive. In Jesus' name. I receive. It is done. I receive. Say the blessing maketh. The blessing maketh. I'm telling you. The blessing will make you, sir. I receive. The blessing will make you. I receive. Whether you, whether you know it or not. But when the blessing comes upon you. How doors will open? You will not know. I receive. How you will keep changing positions? Oh yes. Where you are working now? Oh yes. People will be shocked. I receive. The Bible says the blessing makes a person rich. It makes. It makes. It makes. That is why some of us we are products of the blessing. We are products of number two. I said number one, the blessing makes. Number two, the Bible makes a person rich. Now, that is number two. What does a blessing do? Why do you need a blessing? It makes it rich. Tell your neighbor, rich. Say you. You are a rich person. Yeah, a rich person. We believe that this message has touched you. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who needs encouragement. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you never miss any of the life-changing teachings from Pastor Rich Wills. Until next time, stay blessed.